I am Anil Kumar and in this example we will learn the concept of slowing down and speeding up. The equation here is the position of an object in meters is given by the function s of t equals to t cube minus 12t square plus 36t where t is measured in seconds t is greater than or equal to 0. Find interval when the object is speeding and when it is slowing down. So let's begin with the function given to us position vector s of t equals to t cube minus 12 t square plus 36 t. Let's find its first derivative and the second derivative. First derivative is 3 t square minus 2 times 12 is 24 t and that gives me 36 and the second derivative is 6 t minus 24. When we say first derivative we are talking about velocity and the second derivative is acceleration, rate of change of velocity. To find speeding or slowing down what we understand is that speeding means Uh, speeding means that velocity times acceleration is greater than zero, correct? And slowing down means that velocity times acceleration is less than zero. That means they have opposite signs. That is it. Now, for that, it is good to factor these. So we could take three common. Then we're left with t square, 24 divided by 3 is 8, 36 divided by 3 is 12. So two numbers which will give us 12 as product and sum as minus 8 will be 6 and 2, right? So we get t minus 6 times t minus 2. So that has been factored. Similarly for acceleration, we can take 6 common. We're left with t minus 4. Now, when is velocity positive, when is acceleration positive, to figure that out, it's better to graph them and then check, right? So, so let's graph. Since we know that uh, t is greater than zero, that's kind of our scale. We'll put t on this side and uh, let's graph first velocity, okay. Velocity is a parabola where zeros are at 6 and 2. And if I write t equals to 0, so let's find what is a velocity at 0. Let's just calculate. It is just 36, right? It is 36. Similarly, acceleration at 0 is minus 24. Is it okay? So t is 0. That gives us the initial value. Okay. So let me sketch the graph now. So I'll just make a very simple graph for velocity is a parabola opening up. So we'll start from some value and just go like this down. Okay, that's fine. We are mainly intercept, we are interested in these intercepts, right? So what we observe here is that we get intercepts at two and six. That is because of these values. So the first one is 2, the second one is 6. So we can clearly see that velocity is positive in this interval and after 6. Okay. As far as acceleration is concerned, it's a straight line with y-intercept of minus 24 and x-intercept of 4. So 4 happens to be right in the middle. So now we can sketch uh, the acceleration on the same graph. So let's say this is 4 for us. So we'll draw a line going through 4. Is it okay? Something like this. Perfect. So this point for us is 4. Now I think it is easy to figure out when is the object speeding and when is the object slowing down. So that gives you 4 different intervals. So let's analyze one by one. In this interval from 0 to 2, in 0 to 2. What do you observe? 
in 0 to 2, we have positive and negative values, opposite. So that means slowing down. Do you see that? So it is slowing down between interval 0 and 2. Since the combination has the velocity is positive and this is negative. So we'll write slow. Is it okay? Now, interval 2 to 4. In 2 to 4, both are negative. Both are negative. Do you see that? Negative and negative which makes them same sign. So 2 to 4, they are speeding. So this interval is for speed. 4 to 6, acceleration is positive, however, negative velocity. And therefore, at this interval, we can write here, 4 to 6, it is slowing down, right? So it is slow again. And then both are positive, so it is speeding. Is it okay? So beyond 6, we will write just infinity for time being. It is speeding. So whenever you see same signs of acceleration and velocity, we know they are speeding. If they are having opposite signs, then they are slowing down. Got it? So I hope that helps you to easily capture the information from the given graph. I'm Anil Kumar. If you like, uh, please uh, uh, do so. And if you want to share my videos, you're always glad to. Feel free to post questions and make suggestions. Thank you and all the best.